Alright, we're back with uh, the, some more This War of Mine. Let's continue off. We had to start over last run twice, actually. Because all of our people were going to die of sickness in the, on our very original run. And in the second run, we had someone instantly die. Because we were stupid and that guy had a knife. But it happens. It definitely happens. But that had a good haul. Look what I got. Good stuff, buddy. Now let's uh, build a stove because everyone's very hungry. And we should really build a stove. It would be a good thing to do. I was going to say, if we don't have enough for a stove, I'm going to go crazy. Because we really need a stove. Like, really need a stove. This guy needs to go to sleep. This guy's still, uh... Sick and such, so he's off doing sleeping stuff. See, I don't know if, like, good cook... Like, actually affects the game. Maybe once we have... It's... Oh, God damn it! you go to sleep then. You fix this. You freaking bum. It's not that hard to build a stove. It's probably actually really damn hard to build a stove, but... <laughs> oh well. We really need to build another bed. And we don't have the materials to build another bed right now, which kind of sucks. Alright. So this is going to take... Four wood all right this is nice four wood start working on that you're gonna cook up a meal for everyone everyone's gonna be so happy you cooked up a nice meal for a Marco even though you're sick you might get everyone else sick or no you're not sick you're just slightly wounded well it's a good thing we didn't have Bruno make the food because Bruno's sick we don't want Bruno getting everyone else sick when you think about that yeah the blinking on the portraits just freaked me out Man, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. It's just freaky. It's just really freaky. To me. At least we'll have a nice freaking warm ass meal with some meat and vegetables. That's gonna be nice. That you guys are just gonna love that. I'd love it. Some meat and vegetable stew? Pretty damn good. Pretty hearty. Get your uh, vegetables. Someone's at the door. Alright. What do you want? I'm cooking in here. Huh? What do you want? Hey, look what I brought. What did you bring, huh? What did you bring? You got some meat. I'll go oh, that's our things. Whoops. Maybe I'll take this. It will cost you. There you got. You got some sponges. You got a lot of materials. You can have it for almost nothing. I think I might take uh some cans of food. Give you that. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Very common stuff. Uh, exactly what I need. Very generous of me, is it? Well, then I'll be taking some more stuff then. Won't do. Gotta try harder, huh? Alright, how about I give you some gunpowder? Dang it. <laughs> how about I give you... And herb. There we go. Deal. I don't really need the medicine now. See you later, bro. Get out of here. Good luck to you, too. See you later. Alright, let's have this delicious freaking meal. I bet it's going to be so amazing. This dude is, uh, Marco's pretty tired. He needs to sleep. More than this guy. Is this guy freaking still tired? Come down here and eat, damn it. Let us see if we can make a bed. If we can make a bed, that'd be amazing. We can get our, all of our guys sleeping right now. That would be the best thing ever. Oh, we're just... Oh, we're one... We, oh, if we've got some wood from that guy. Damn it. We would have had enough. Yeah, your stomach is rumbling. I bet it is. Alright, go to sleep. Because he's very tired, he should... uh. At least we're going to... Uh, well, he should sleep. But at least we're going to have a meal left over, too. I wonder if meals go bad. I mean, we do have a refrigerator. I don't know if we really have electricity. I, I guess we ha kind of have electricity. I mean, that light is on. There's nothing more to tear down in the district, so is the so the military lost interest. Ah, is that why they're not here? You know what? You don't need to sleep, dude. This guy needs to sleep. Yeah, you're slightly sick. Go sit on the chair. 
At least we have cans of tuna now as well. We probably could have... Mm, we'll, we'll get some wood next time from those guys when they come. I'm hoping this will be enough for Marco to recover. Alright, I think that's about all we want to do. Let's end the day. Oh, our buddy's not asleep anymore, so keep him sleeping in the bed. Uh, I guess... I guess we're going to have to have Marco guard and this guy sleep in the bed. Because he's... Being slightly wounded and being sick are two very different things to me. Have you scavenge. Two very different things. Like, if you're slightly wounded, like, yeah, you're, you'll recover eventually. As mean as that sounds. But being sick, like, you need to sleep before that becomes, like, the flu. You know what I'm saying? We don't want our guys to have the flu. That would be the worst. Alright, a lot of materials, a lot of smokes is good. That'll make our guys not uh, as sad as often. Which is good. Hmm. I haven't found... Well, I have found some weapons, I guess. We take that. A stack of this. A stack of that. I think parts are pretty important. Wood, yeah. You know, we can leave, like, the cigarettes behind, honestly. Wood and materials way more important. Will I come back for the useless stuff? Or, quote-unquote, useless. It's useless to me because... Not that important. Alright, leave that stuff in there. We haven't even looked at the picture yet. Something good? Ooh, hell yeah. There, that's all we can take now. Uh, we could leave a book behind and take like two more pieces of wood. That'd probably be the better choice. Alright, good stuff. That means everything we have left is up on the top, on the first floor, not the basement anymore. Which is good. We should be able to make a bed. No problem. Hopefully we didn't get raided. That's something I haven't thought about, is we could easily get raided. Hopefully we didn't. Because then we don't want Marco to end up being the person who gets stabbed all the time. Oh, damn it. Right when I sold my medicine. Right when I sold my medicine. I could do with some bandages. Alright, go bandage yourself. Or actually, you, you stay here. I'm going to have this guy bandage you. Bandage you right up. Make you feel really good about yourself. Oh, man. There you go. Now, you need to go to sleep. You need to freaking build the last bed. That sucks, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Build bed. Build bed. No, no, no. You... You go to sleep. That sucks, because he hasn't been sleeping enough is why he can, he's getting sicker. Uh... Probably also because it's cold. Okay, let's build the last bed. Let's get that up here. 16, it's pretty cold in here. It's getting it's getting colder. I wouldn't say it's really cold, but or pretty cold. It's getting there, though. Yeah, you're hungry. I'll go have you eat in a little bit after you build your bed, dude. Then you can go eat. Do I really want to feed Marco? Like, come on. I'm pretty sure Marco's fine. He just hasn't been getting the prop his proper rest. This the crappy thing is, is if that guy comes and barters again, we have to ask for the medicine back. Like, hey, can we uh, actually have our medicine back? I actually really need that. That's the crap thing. Let's uh feed him, so he doesn't have to get up. Oh god damn it! Someone needs help. Bruno. Go help this guy. You made me get up and have my guy go over here and help him. Who are you? Hi there, neighbors. <laughs> I love these guys. Uh, good day to you. I live down the street. I notice you're living in this band. Okay, uh, this to carry the supplies. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have you sleep. Pavel, you're going to have to do this. And Marco's going to sleep. 
Actually, before you do that, let's have you eat. Too bad we've run out of cigarettes. Yeah. Too bad, but you really shouldn't be thinking about cigarettes when you need to sleep, dude. Or you're sick. Alright. Yes, go with him. You won't regret it. I hope I don't. I hope I come back with a bunch of food, medicines, because I really need some medicine, especially for Bruno. We don't want Bruno to die again because of some bullcrap reason, too. Alright, let's end the day. He's not back. He needs to sleep in bed. He needs the guard. Let's stay. Patched up and ready to go. Hell yeah! I got an achievement. No, we got raided! Oh, thankfully they didn't stab anyone. Oh, he brought back some food and water and coffee. That's nice. Nice, he's not freaking sick anymore. Or, like, all stabbed up anymore. Well, you probably need to go to sleep. Yeah, you need to go to sleep for sure, Pavel. That's good for you. All right. So, Marco, we can finally have Marco to go to be the one that scavenges. Which is going to help out a lot. Stomach is rumbling. Go eat then, buddy. Go eat. We should be able to cook some food up for our people. Not quite sure, though. We'll have to look in a second. I want to see if there's anything we could build first. Alright, because looking into here, we have not that many wood. Not that many materials either. Not a lot of water, I don't think either. Alright, yeah, we don't have... We have an okay amount of water, but we could do with more. Let's see what we can build. Uh, rainwater collector would be a, a really good thing to build right now. I would have to say. Yeah, let's make that. And let's put that... Hmm. I'll just put that right here. And then we'll probably have him go to sleep. Hopefully he, uh... It seems like... Oh, he got wounded? How'd he get slightly wounded? It didn't say he got stabbed or anything. Or I missed it. I don't know. Bruno is in a bad position right now, to say the least. Or to say, actually, not the least. I don't even know. He's just in a bad position. Bruno's getting messed up now. It's not even Pavel this time. Pavel wasn't even rude, wounded when we started. That's the crazy part. Pavel wasn't even wounded. Oh, we only have freaking one wood for that. We might have to burn our books. Yeah, we're going to have to burn two of our books. I guess as long as we have some books, it's fine. God, the blinking. Ever since I've noticed that they started blinking, it's really been creeping me out. I wish there was like a disable blinking button. Oh, god dang it. Alright, we're going to need to make one wood here. I'm like praying some dude's going to come along with some vegetables. That's what I'm hoping for. And a book here. So we have no wood now. I feel like we might be pushing our way through our, our materials a little too quick. Let's see. This guy hasn't uh, eaten. I've eaten. Not, my guy's just tired. Marco. Marco's the boy. Man, Marco is just the boy. Alright, go to sleep. I'll have you go last. You need to eat that. Oh, man. Come on. Not the greatest starts. Not the greatest starts. Luckily, no one's died yet. Dying is not a good thing. Alright. You get to sleep now. You come down and eat this meal. We're getting low on the food again. We need to really come across a huge amount. We gotta send... At least we can send Marco now. He's got three extra bag spaces. So that will be a lot nicer that he's coming with extra stuff than, uh, than Pavel can. What is Pavel going on about? All the shelling, sniper file, and lack of supplies makes you want to hide away, sit down and cry. Yada, yada, yada. You just being a baby. But I understand your problem, bro. I understand. I can imagine it's pretty dang bad to be in this, uh, this war. Alright, sleep. Good, everyone got their sleep. That means you are going to go scavenge, you are going to go guard, 
and you are obviously going to sleep in the bed. Hopefully, no one gets shanked. That's what it, that's my dream is no one gets shanked. All right, no reason to walk all soft and quiet. Search away, search away. Get it all. If we have to, we'll leave the cigarettes behind again because we want the good materials much more than anything else. Yeah, we're almost done with this building, it seems. I don't think I want to steal with those people, steal from those people yet, since uh, I mean it's not necessary right now. If we can avoid it, I will. Let's look at this. What do we got here? A note that says, on the first day they robbed us, two days later they murdered our girls. I shot every one of them, but I don't want to use the gun anymore. It's broken and buried in the backyard. The next part of the shaky, if you're reading this, don't look for me. Wait, there, how do we get in the backyard? There's a gun buried in the backyard? Yeah, I'll take that gun, dude. Okay, we're going to have to put this stuff away. Then, because I would much rather have all of this. Much better. Whoops. Not what I don't want to take the quality roll ups yet. Or any of that. I want to get as much materials, wood as possible. I'll take a gun part. That's that's worth it. Wait, can I take a do they have any other room for other parts? Yes, I can take this and I can take this. Alright, exit there. What do we got in the bed? We got more medicine. Tastes terrible, but they can save your life from sickness. Ooh, and more medicine here. Put the ammunition back. Get that. Really goddamn good. What do we got here? And we have a lot of stuff that we can come get later. We can get this, and we can get a little bit of that. Uh, we could leave a book here and bring back more wood. Mm, no, I'll come back in for this stuff. How do I get in the backyard? I really want to be able to get in the backyard now. He's like, I buried it in the backyard. Like, that is... Oh, man. I, I'm kind of hoping there was... Oh, oh wait, is that it right there? Is that the gun? Are we going to have a gun? Oh my god, yes. Okay. So we're going to leave this here and leave that there. We have a broken pistol and a gun. So because we read that, it let us know that that was there. That's awesome. I was going to say, we can't just read... Wait, no, no. I want to look at this picture first. Because I didn't look at it before. A family photo of parents and two daughters. Good thing the girls don't resemble their, fa their father. He looks like a bear. Oh, God. So at least the guy got the bad guys, though. Or so. They came and murdered his daughters. That's pretty messed up. To be honest, it's dang messed up. At least we came back with a bunch of stuff, though. Bunch of stuff. Really good stuff. I'm back. I've got meds. Nice. So much stuff. All right. Hungry, tired. Yes, I understand. Everything right now. We need food. Yeah, I know we need food. This guy... Slightly sick now. He's not super sick, so I'm not giving him meds. Uh, I guess you go to sleep. Hmm. How much water do we have? Not that much water. You need to make us some sponges. Sponges are pretty important. We need some water so we can make food. Sponges, sponges. Let's make two of them. That will be eight water. Hopefully the guy comes to barter with us. Because we have a, a good amount of uh, materials that we'll probably want to trade with us. We have two medicines, or three different kinds of medicines all together. Or three medicines all together, not three different types. Because we only have two different types. But we have not a lot of medicine. We have Moonshine, which we can sell to them. Which sells for a pretty penny. What else could we build? Hmm. Could we upgrade our station? We probably could. How long does it take to do this? I think it said four hours. We should be able to get we should be able to make our food and eat it too. Or get enough water and make food is what I meant to say. 
Let's see, because I want to make a rat trap. Rat trap's super freaking important. Oh, okay, so we're still short on wood to be able to upgrade it. Trying to push our upgrades a little too fast. Alright, you're just going to have to sit down in the chair for a while then, buddy. There's not much else we can do. We've pretty much cleared everything out, right? Yep. Alright, well hopefully someone comes. I don't think anyone's going to come to barter, but we do need to wait for the water. Oh yeah, he could rest. What am I talking about? He could sleep in the bed temporarily. Because I would like to be able to trade, but the dude probably won't even come till the next day. Probably. They they go on like two to three day cycles, I think. Because it's not like this dude has stuff he can barter every single day. You know, he's got to collect materials, he's got to save up for it, then come back and be like, Hey man, I could trade with you. Alright, so sleeping for a temporary time being. This is going to be done probably at like two. Nothing like a good sleep. Oh, he's already done. Alright, well he, we don't even have to wake the other dude up. You can just come down here then. What are our dudes complaining about? Cigarettes, of course. We only have one chair. Yeah, at least we have beds. We don't have a radio. Same stuff. We have breaches, yada yada. I don't want to use our food inefficiently. So if we just like eat the meat, then they'll still be hungry tomorrow. They'll go to still hungry and they'll go to hungry tomorrow status. And that's not something I want to do. Yes, I know we need food. I know. But there's there's just not anything we can do right now, buddy. Not until someone comes and, and gives us uh, either some vegetables or, or something of the like. Alright? I need you to refill this. So it takes five hours. Okay, that's a long ass time to make some water, I'd have to say. A freaking long time to make water. Hit my desk accidentally. Sorry about that. I thought it said four hours. I didn't think I didn't see that it said five hours. That's a long time. And I don't want to upgrade it. Alright, so we can only make one dish. So only one person, or we can all have them eat once. I think we're just gonna have them all eat once. Or, no, that would be inefficient. That's stupid. What am I talking about? We can make one, and then we have to have the other dude just eat regular... Other two just eat regular meat. They might not be happy about it, but that's what we're going to have to do. There's just not much else to sacrifice or give to them. Alright. Let's make your one meal. It's too bad we don't have vegetables, otherwise we'd be able to make a ton of meals right now. Alright, good. Dude just came down just in time. Marco's the one gonna eat the big meal because Marco is our skilled scavenger. I don't care if maybe it's not the most efficient thing to do, but Marco is Marco. And Marco deserves to do such a thing. You hurry up and eat that meat, dammit. Eat your goddamn protein, okay? Alright, Pavel. A little break for another chapter. Yeah, 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 buddy. Does anyone have anything to say? Let's see. Looks like Bruno does. I used to be an optometrist, one of those people who had sworn to the war. Or an optimist. Optometrist? Oh my god. Wars happen far away, blah, blah, blah. We've read this before. Alright, still hungry. Too bad it isn't cooked yet. Too bad it isn't. But there's not much we can do. You need to get back in your bed. Because we can't have you being sick anymore, man. Wait, if we... I just thought of something. If we have two people scavenge, can they go to two different places? I think I just became a genius. Once all of our people are up and healed, we're doing that. I just realized we could probably send two different people in two different places. Scavenge guard. A quiet house. In a quiet house estate... That remains almost untouched. It's a calm area with little houses. Most of these houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lend, lead, lead normal lives. We've got, no, we've got nothing to look for there. Unless we're willing to steal. Damn. 
A school that has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge in the building. I guess we'll go there. There's food there, and that's the most important part. It doesn't say there's any danger. We can bring... No, we don't want to bring that. We can bring a shovel and all of this. Uh, we don't have any food to bring for them. I would bring... If I could bring them food, they might be really happy, but we just don't have food. But it says there's food there, so they can't be starving too much, to be honest. They can't be too hungry. I heard these days, blah, blah, blah. Poor kids, yes. Poor kids. It says homeless people will live here or something. I don't hear or see anyone yet. That's the good part. Okay, I think a mouse is coming towards me. Because that's too fast for a human, really. Yeah. Way too fast for a human. That's barred as, as well. Okay. Hmm. If there are homeless people here, they're probably living over here. At least it seems like there's a lot of materials here. That's the good part. Seems like there's a whole bunch of stuff to look for. Or to look at, at least. That's probably another rat. Yeah, so many stuff that collapsed on in here that we can't get to yet. I just want the food, really. That's the most important part, is the food. Don't really care about anything else. Where would the food be? I think it's right here. So once we get past here, we should be able to get to it. As long as our shovel keeps up, that is. Oh, that might be a person. That's almost 100% a person. That's so much wood? Oh my god. That's so much wood. How do we get here? Where is the food here? That's what I want to know. That's got to be a person. They took my food again. Yeah, you can always count on friends. Uh, hey buddy. What's up? Oh, this guy's so, this guy's so sad. Where is your food? I heard there was food here. Is that, oh, there it is. There it is. It is the comfiest seat, but it has to do. I hear something. No, you don't. Oh, this is just a bunch of materials. Exit. Hi. Wait. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Do you have any food? Ooh, there's something down here. All right, we have to be careful. I like that was a refrigerator, wasn't it? And there's like just a bunch of materials in there. There's a lot of materials in there, but that's not food. We need food is what we need. I'm I'm specifically looking for food. Like good, honest to good food. And I don't see anything so far. There's definitely a lot of homeless here. That's for sure. Hmm. What's in here? Doesn't look like anything important is in here. Wonder if we can... Pretty simple lock. Should be able to open it. Come on, food! Ooh! This is so good! I'm taking all of this! Holy crap, screw this wood! Look at all of this stuff! Bandage, freaking all of this. Give me it all. Holy crap, dude. You guys have the freaking bank. Holy crap. Why are you holding out on me? Why are you holding out on me? When will it end? I don't know. There's so much stuff here. 
Yeah, we're just gonna head out on head on out now. I didn't ran I didn't run into any food, but there's so much stuff here. I hope that barter guy comes today because we're gonna be buying a lot of food from him. For sure. A lot of damn food. That's so much. This is a long episode too. So much freaking stuff. I can't even believe it, man. At least they're nice homeless people. They weren't mad. They weren't mad we were taking, like, just scavenging the area. They were just kind of there. Like, hey, buddy, how you doing? That one guy was crying about how someone took his food, though. I don't know about that. Oh, sweet, we didn't get raided. Nice. All right, anyways, that's going to be the episode today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We got some sick amount of medicine, but we still have no food. I'm hoping the barter guy comes today. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed the series, don't forget to leave a like. There'll be many more This War of Mine episodes to come.